Welcome to the Subscriber Dynasty. This week, we have a bye week, but we're going to go over the depth chart, and then we're going to go um, take a look at Oklahoma State's depth chart, just so I can boast about how good my recruiting class was. But uh, in the preseason video, I talked about, you know, how junky, not well, not junky, junky's a bad word, but just how not up to par they were going from how the Oklahoma State team was to go into how Tennessee is right now. But we're going to look at some positive things with the Tennessee offense. Get my mind right, because I got Merck uh, next week, if I remember right. Oh, and we'll take a look at the schedule. All right. The quarterbacks are not scrambling quarterbacks. But both well, both of them are seniors. But even, even Marcus Powers. There are three really good pocket passers. And I am going to revamp a playbook. I'm not going to tell you, you know, what it's going to be about. But uh, it is going to be... A little bit different play style um, until I can get players into Tennessee that I need to be there to run my offense that I like so much, which is the the spread run. But anyways, there we go. So good pocket passers. The running backs aren't pretty. Darn, they're pretty good. Uh, we got two two guys up here at the top that are pretty much a spitting image of one another. Um. So, decent speed, 89 is a decent speed, you know, 90, 89, 90, same thing. Good break tackle. Um, this guy's got 93 break tackle. So, I, I might swap these out depending. Um, but anyhow, uh, fullback, you know, wow, he's a good fullback. I don't know what else to say about a fullback. Now, the wide receivers, now, across the board, they don't look impressive, but at least we got some height going on. Um, you know, Jimmy Jones. Junior, six foot, got great speed. This guy is 5'11". He's a little small. I might put him, I might swap him with Pearson. But I might not. Well, I'll look at their other stats. I haven't um, set positions yet to where I want them to be as far as, the, as far as where I want them on the field, if that, if that makes any kind of sense. But Pearson, six foot one. Travis Morrow, man, underclassman. He's six foot six and right. He's another underclassman, six foot three, and then Holland, the six-string um, wide receiver. That's a tight end. The man's six foot seven, which is going to help. And there's uh, there's Holland again. Albert Jefferson. He's an underclassman. Not too bad, you know. He's six foot four. Left tackles. Hey, the, the offensive line's not too bad. They're really they're really decent. The only thing I don't like about them is that a lot of them are seniors, and the people we got behind them aren't very good. Except in this case, Johnson's a sophomore. He's an 82. Um, left tackle, let's take a look at the right tackle because I don't like how they have it set up. So he's a junior. That's an 83. That's perfect. Now, we might have to move this guy somewhere else if we can. Um, back to the left guard. He's a senior, but like I said, we still have, you know, Johnson. I think that was the same guy. That's here as a 79 as an underclassman at the guard position. Now, on the other side, you know, 86. He's a junior. The offensive line is the, is the strength. Of this Tennessee team, in my opinion, if I was to break them down. Um, center, he's a freshman, 76, not bad. You know, I might just move this guy up to the center spot, but we'll see. You know, the defensive line's not too bad either, but the only thing I don't like about him is I think they're all seniors. You know, 88, that's not bad. You know, I don't really, I haven't really looked at his other stats. That's fine. Underclassman, 72, that's not good. Underclassman, 66, that's... Really not good. From the right side, sophomore 78. That's not too bad. That's something we can work with. You know, he's going to improve for next year. He's going to be a starter this year. And then it's the same same people down here. But I'm in the process of trying to recruit an end. But I need, like, I need to fill, like, six positions. And if you go through here, you can tell, you know, where everything needs to go. I'm not going to point that out to you because I don't want to have any harder recruiting time than I, than I already do. Now, defensive tackles, it's not too bad, man. Sophomore, 85, that's really good. He's a big dude, 6'6", 292. And then this junior, he's a 76, and it kind of just gets kind of shitty on down the line there. But pretty good, you know, defensive defensive tackles. Linebackers, like I said, again, they're seniors. Um, he's a 72, that's, that's not very good. The middle linebacker spot, he's a senior. He's really not all that good. But it could it could get a lot worse. Like look at these other guys down here. But uh, he's gonna be gone. 
right side. He's a sophomore, 72. A little below average for I'd want a sophomore starting, you know, right side linebacker to be. The corners, they're not too bad. Um, now, they kind of look junky over the board. Let's scroll over to my favorite um, stat over here, which is the man coverage. 90, 96, 81, 83, 84. It's not too bad, really. Um, play recognition is really good. Dixon, he's a senior. Yeah, but um, I think, well, senior, senior, junior, sophomore, junior. So, in some, burn it. You're on a hot streak. We haven't even played a game yet, dude. How are you on a hot streak? But uh, free safety, he's a senior. He's an 80. There are lots and lots and lots of seniors on this team. And they're not really good seniors either. They're strong safety, like I said, another senior. But there's Ellis. He's a junior. You know, I might move him somewhere else if I can to get him some time on the field. Like I said, I, I'm in the process of, uh, of getting the team to where they need to be. But, um, you know, it's going to be a long road, but that's okay. Part of the reason that I went here, um, I kind of feel that I should have stayed one day, or one day, one more season at uh, Oklahoma State because they're stacked up. I mean, here we go. Mike Jones, we love him. Fumbles too much, but he's a junior, man. 95. Good speed. The running back. Remember Gunn? This dude got really good. Look at this. 99 overall, 92 speed, 90 agility, 99 acceleration. But his break tackle, man, 96, and his trucking's a 95. That dude is going to be real. He is really good. He's not going to be. But even Muhammad, man, Muhammad's not bad. And he's a, well, he's a senior, too. But then Kaplan, the returner, the longer you stay to school, the easier it is, you know, to recruit back. Um, that's what I've found. Like the first year when you change schools or like the first year in the dynasty is always the hardest to recruit people. Receivers, they let Johnson go for some reason because I would have made him stay. And that would have had, you know, Johnson, Nugent, Arnold, and Guerrero um, for people there. The tight end, I mean, he's a 90 now. He's a senior, but that's okay. We can recruit a tight end or put somebody else there. Offensive line was going to be really good, too. He's a 78 as a freshman. He's one of the people that I recruited the year before last. So he's a 78. He's a junior as an 84. And then we have an 80 as a junior. An 83 as a junior. And then a freshman 79. Now, this is one of the guys that I, re I recruited. He's a freshman this year. So I recruited him last year. Really good. The left end, junior, 87. Mitchell, he was there last year. Uh, the right side, 86, junior. Man, everybody's an underclassman on this Oklahoma State team. They've been super good this year and really good next year. Um, the defensive tackles, look at this. is the guy I recruited, Cameron. He's an 80 as a freshman. And then this guy I recruited the year before last. Then I redshirted him. And so I have two freshmen, a 79 and an 80, starting on the team. And I don't even know what this gas is. Yeah, whatever about him. But, I mean, these two guys here. The linebackers are... You know, not very, they're not, I mean, they're good, but they're just, they're not really good compared to some of the other, um, some of the others. But the middle linebacker, 78 is a sophomore. That's not too bad. Brooks. And then the right side, you know, he's a senior. But the corners, I mean, all the corners are good. Um, free safeties, he's a junior as an 80. Tolbert's a sophomore as an 85. 83 as a sophomore with powers. And then Tolbert, you know, to back him up. But I kind of just wanted to uh, to look at that real quick. All right, so we're on this week. Bye. We got Merck. And then we have Bonner Squad. And then Florida, which is a conference game. Yes, rivalry game too. Uh, Boise State. We got Georgia. Mizzou. South Carolina. Alabama. He gave me Oregon. Texas A&M. A ranked Vanderbilt team. How about that? Which is another rivalry week. And then Kentucky's a rivalry game, too. And then some bye weeks. So, pretty good uh, pretty good schedule. I mean, I highly doubt we go undefeated. But anything, you know, anything is possible. I mean, we're probably going to have a couple of losses to some users because I think my team is going to be outmatched. Uh, Brian Gators has been with Mizzou the whole, uh, you know, this is going to be his sixth season with them, I think. Actually, let's go to the conference outlook real quick. I'm running a little long here. I don't want to bore you guys with. Yeah, well, we're not going to be last. <laughs> we're not going to be last in the division. Um, so, 
But if Missouri has a bad game, throws a bunch of turnovers and stuff like that, not saying that, you know, he's bad and he's going to throw them, but, you know, sometimes, you know, you have a bad game when you, you throw turnovers and stuff don't go exactly to plan, you know. You know, we can beat some of these teams in here, especially the computer ones, and then if we win Mizzou, you know, we can have a chance to go to the SEC championship. Then there's, which is cool, there's two on each side, which is going to make it fun. So LSU Old Miss on one side, and then me and Mizzou on the other, which which is going to make it fun. I'm happy to be in the SEC. I'm a little bit sad, you know, because of the Oklahoma State team, but that's okay. Building up, uh, building up teams is one of the fun things. But all right, I hope you guys are excited because I'm excited. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the field next game.